Hey everyone, welcome to the dugout. Jim Davis, Want the Buckeye Boy. Uh, catch us weekday mornings on the Jim Davis Show on the Team Sports Network from Rifle, Junction, Delta, Montrose. We have the entire Western Slope covered. Taking over. Trying to. We're working hard at it. Or are we hardly working? I'm not sure. Silverton, we're coming for you. <laughs> you Ray? Yeah. We're coming for you. All right. Eagle, you're next. <laughs> Let's pump the brakes on a little bit of that stuff, okay? All right, Kirk Cousins appears to be the number one target for the Broncos, and now that the uh, Washington Redskins have decided, nah, we're not going to mess with this whole Kirk Cousins franchise tag thing. We're going to trade for Alex Smith. It puts the Broncos in a position now where they're the, the leading contender to get the services of Kirk Cousins. Jacksonville looks like they're going to stay with Blake Bortles. And so it's kind of the Broncos and the Jets are the two prime contenders right now. Look, we've talked about it on the show. It's going to come down to guaranteed money. It's going to have to be more guaranteed money for Kirk Cousins than what the Redskins are going to give Alex Smith, which is $71 million, which could help out the Broncos in terms of a year-to-year contract could keep that number down if the guaranteed money number goes up. Yeah, the Alex Smith contract is really helpful to – all the teams that are in pursuit of Kirk Cousins. It kind of keeps the number down a little bit. And, yeah, the guaranteed money, is it's going to be really important. If it comes down to the Jets versus the Broncos, the money could be similar. The Jets may even have a little bit better money. But if Kirk Cousins is to be believed with Radio Row this week, winning is the priority. And I think the Broncos may be a little bit closer with a quarterback and a good draft than the Jets are because they don't have a quarterback they have to draft one unless they keep Josh McCown going into his age 39 season. And some of their skilled players are having trouble outside of the bounds of law. So the Broncos may get an advantage because the defense is still pretty good and they're closer than some of the other teams that need a quarterback. Yeah, so I think if you're done with the Broncos, getting Kirk Cousins, their chances have gone up. The Garoppolo trade during the season from New England to San Francisco. Because everybody thought, right, that Kyle Shanahan – and uh, Kirk Cousins were going to get reunited in San Francisco at some point. That's obviously not going to happen now with, uh, with Garoppolo in San Francisco, that trade that happened during the season. Tyreek Evans, a guy that's averaged about 19 points per game for the Memphis Grizzlies, appears to be on uh, the, the Denver Nuggets list of guys that they might go out and pursue. They're going to get Paul Millsap back soon. But Evans could come in and be a big addition to this Nuggets team that could use some additional scoring right now. Yeah, and he may not require a premium to pry out of Memphis. They've been having some issues injury-wise. They're not as good as they had hoped to be at this point in their progression, and it may be time to yeah, start tearing it down at the FedEx Forum and rebuilding, and you may be able to get some pieces out of them that are not going to cost top dollar. Evans would be a good piece. He'd be something fantastic depth-wise. He'd bring some scoring ability, and he'd play a little deep, too. All right, it's this weekend, uh, plenty of high school basketball, Palisade, Hosting Rifle, Friday night on the Team Sports Network. Uh, top two girls teams right now. Well, Glenwood's also in there as well in the Western Slope League. So uh, we'll have that on the Team Sports Network Friday night. This guy's going to have a call on that. And then on Saturday, the Colorado Mesa basketball teams are at Westminster. Maverick women trying to regroup after, uh, what was it? Well, give Western State credit. They played well defensively. Maverick women didn't play very well. Maverick men are on a three-game winning streak. Saturday we'll have it for you. The uh, Colorado Mesa basketball teams at Westminster. Our free game starts at 5:15 on Saturday night. And don't forget, Bracketpalooza coming up in March. More details on the way on our website, theteam1340.com. And get the new mobile app. You're going to love it at our website, theteam1340.com. We'll see you next time.